Home Depot is locking up shop. No, they're not closing down. What they're doing is increasing security at their stores. So tools that generally will be out on shelves for any shopper to access will now be behind cages. Now, they're increasing this security measure this year across all their stores to curb stealing. Now, we know that's a big deal. As a matter of fact, in 2019, CNBC had a report that showed that Home Depot lost $7.78 million for every $1 billion in sale. That's a lot of money to lose. And this is all because of stealing. Now, when people steal tools, generally they will sell it on a marketplace, Amazon, um, might even come to your job center and offer you to sell you a tool. And we don't want to be a part of that because we don't want to be accessory to, to stealing. And Home Depot is really trying their best to kind of prevent that from happening because at the end of the day, when people steal, it actually it puts a strain on you, the consumer, because Home Depot now has to invest more in security and that security cost is going to be passed on to us, the customer. So this measure here is to reduce stealing. Now the question is how would it affect your shopping experience? Because a lot of people don't like to come in a store and have to ask for help. They have no problem picking up a tool, looking at it, reading the box. I personally am a very tactile person. I like to, you know, get the tool. So how will this affect your shopping experience? And do you think that's a good move by Home Depot to stop all these thieves? Well, let me know in the comments. Thanks for